Right, and that's why HSL Properties and Suntran have teamed up with the Community Food Bank once again to stuff the bus. And our very own Tina is out there holding down the fort. Tina, what's going on out there? Tina. Well, you guys couldn't have said it any better. What's going on out here is that I'm seeing lots of people drive up, drop off some of these cans for the Community Food Bank, and it has been so amazing this morning. We've had April out here, Guy was out here, and we have just been building up on this progress. Tucson, you have really amazed us. It's in part because of you and in part because of HSL and these beautiful faces and the properties. Lisa, you guys are so excited to be doing this Stuff the Bus. Oh, we are unbelievably excited. We've been out here since six o'clock this morning. We've already collected over 6,000 pounds of food. First bus is well overflowed. The second bus is on its way. We are well on our way to meeting our goal of 16,000 pounds of food today. And now I know HSL Properties has, you've done, you know, food drives before and every year you guys keep topping yourself and this year we're even going bigger and better because the community is joining in. Every year we've been collecting from the residents on all of our apartment communities throughout town. This year we decided to get the community more involved, which is why we're here with K Gun 9 and Stuff the Bus. Uh, so we've got people uh, from the properties bringing food in, bringing some really large donations, some of the properties upwards of 800 pounds. Um, and then we've also had all the individual donations coming in. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, a lot of cash donations as well, which is really great for the food bank because they can put the money where they need it. And I know you said that we, oh, see, we got a woo in the background. We like that. This group is definitely ready to take your donations. Look at their smiling faces. Now, we are at the River Oaks Apartments at 7730 East Broadway, Correct. but this is not the only place you can drop off, right? There are 33 HSL locations here in town. We've got three in Oro Valley. We've got two in Marana. Um, we've got actually just in this zip code alone, we have 11 locations. So anywhere you go, just look for that HSL logo on the sign, and we're more than happy to take your food donation. And now when we're talking about food donations, we're talking about non-perishable, but they're looking for lots of things that have protein, peanut butter, canned meats, things of that sort. So protein is a big deal. Um, so the canned meats, canned tuna, canned chicken. Um, they're also looking for cereal. Kids love cereal. And anything that the kids can open, kid-friendly food, anything that has a pop-top lid that kids can come home from school and grab themselves something to eat. That is, and that's what I said. When I'm looking at all this food on this bus, I'm not just seeing food. I'm seeing families sitting down together. I'm seeing exactly. people doing, you know, uh, what we all kind of take for granted, but there's families out there that are definitely in need. And we're kind of stepping it up. Not only will you see all these beautiful faces if you come out here and drop it off. I just saw Papa Murphy's pull up. They're going to be giving out some pizza to people that do some donating because they know we want to give back to also those that are reaching and in. We're going to have EG's here also giving out samples today as well. I believe of their new flavor of the month, red licorice. I may or may not have already had a couple of those, so no, do not judge me, do not judge me. But yes, definitely stop by any of these HSL properties. We again are at 7730 East Broadway. We're at the River Oaks apartment. You can't miss us. You, we're all out front. We're all ready to take your donations. People have been driving up with their food, opening their trunk and just tons of food coming out. But also we can take those monetary donations. I'm going to have another wrap up, another progress report for you guys coming up later on in the show as well. She's rocking it out awesome. there. Thank you, Tina. That was great. I got to try that red licorice. Oh, that was it's good. yummy. The EG's? Yeah. We'll check, back. we'll check back with her in a bit. Yeah. We Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Have you made it out yet to stuff the bus? And if you haven't, get a move on. At the top of the show, we checked in with Tina Jennings, and she's standing by again to report on the progress. How's it going out there, Tina? Tina. I am so glad that I'm going live with you fellas right now because something amazing is going on behind me right now. Now, if you're asking yourself, what's going on? Why does it seem like there's so much going on in this parking lot? That is because Joanna, we have now filled our first SunTran bus and we are bringing in a second one. We are so excited. It's not even noon and we have one bus uh, pulling away to go to the food bank warehouse right now and we have another one pulling in. We are thrilled with the community, with the support of HSL and their properties and this is just so exciting. It is. Do you know what? Look at this. What I'm seeing is Tucson, you keep giving. You you pour your hearts out. You bring the food in. We will just keep bringing in buses. Absolutely. We have it lined up that nothing is going to stop us. Bring it on. <laughs> I love that. And, and it's got to make you feel good to see how much the community has, has done to already fill one of these buses up. We love it. At Suntran, we're all from the local community. We love to give back. We love to be a part of this. And it's exciting. We love the partnership that we have with the sponsor HSL, with the food bank, and we are thrilled to give. 
And thank you to SunTran as well. And we want to make another reminder that SunTran's Route 8 will actually stop right here in front of this property, and they can make the donation if they want to get here that way. Absolutely. Route 8 is our busiest route, runs every 10 to 15 minutes. So hop on, get off at River Oaks, and get right back on with your day. It is, Jonah. We are so happy to see SunTran bringing in that second bus. Again, we're at River Oaks Apartment, 7730 East Broadway. And Lou, the community food bank is really why we're out here. All of this food, this is amazing, is going to be going to the food bank. Where does this go? Who do you see picking up this food? This food all goes to the families. Um, you know, we have the working poor, we have a lot of children are our clients, and then we have the elderly. So this goes into all the food boxes, but we also have to serve all of Southern Arizona. That's five counties. So it takes a tremendous amount of food, which is what HSL and SunTran is doing for us today. And what is it that we're exactly asking people to drop off? Non-perishable food items, canned items, canned fruits, canned vegetables, canned meats, peanut butter, and then dry goods. You have cereal, you have pastas, you have rice and beans. All those would be terrific. And then, of course, if we can get a cash donation, $1 equals four distributed meals. So that's a tremendous payback. I want to reiterate that one dollar comes out to four, four meals. meals. Right, right. That's a tremendous way to, to give uh, to the community food bank, and your dollar just goes such a long way. It is. And Lou has been running around here like a crazy man getting all of this food. People have been dropping it off. Pull in, open up your trunk with those canned foods, those box cereals, anything you have. And again, a little bit of change that you have in your car, also drop it off. Again, we are at the River Oaks Apartment, 7730 East Broadway. But any of the HSL properties anywhere around town will take those donations. They will be happy to take that. We have got Papa Murphy's out here giving out free samples for people that donate. You've got all of our smiling faces out here. So I cannot wait to see again till 6 p.m. tonight. Everybody can donate. Fellas, I know you're going to be stopping by uh, after the show, right? Oh, heck yeah. I'm going to bring a huge, to huge jar of peanut butter. Thank you, Tina.